So in this session of SAP UI5 video tutorial, we will see the concept of const custom controls in SAP UI5 applications. So let's just see the agenda of this particular session. So first we will cover the custom controls overview and then we will just see base controls and how custom controls benefit from this and then we will see the scenario that is we will build a particular custom controls and in the video I will just explain it to you how we will just go through it. Moving on now let's just see the custom controls overview. So SAP UI5 comes with the large number of standard custom uh, standard controls. So why what is the need for custom control? So sooner or later you will realize that SAP UI5 controls that is not provide particular uh, functionality, full functionality is not there. So for according to your requirement you could change the controls or you could make a new control itself. So there, that's why we are using custom controls here. For building a custom control we need to extend the control base class and there are different options that um, while creating a custom control. The number one is that that you could ex extend a particular ex existing controls and the second option is to build a new control from the scratch itself. So here the two flavors are possible here build a new completely new control or build a composite control that orchestrates the existing controls internally itself. So we will look into it now. So this is a simple flowchart which describes the base classes that are getting uh, benefit from the simple class here that is sap.ui.base. So all the qualities of base classes are inherited using data binding, eventing and all and up all the way up to rendering. So what it means is that all the qualities can be inherited and can be make use in extend while extending any classes. Moving on and here it is the custom control scenario. So in the video I will show a particular scenario here and I will just go through it briefly here. So what we need to build here is, so this is our custom control here. So here I have used a rate indicator and a button. So both these are merged into one, one control itself. So the control should allow the, allow the user to rate the product and trigger a submit button. So when a particular user comes he should be able to rate it and then click on submit and on the click of submit a particular alert should show up and the particular rating should be populated in that alert. And other requirement is here that all this the submit button should be disabled at first. The whenever the user changes his rating only then the submit button should be enabled. So this is our requirement here. Now let's just take a look at the general buildup of our new control. So there is this render function on which is called on rendering at and it gets the two parameters that is ORM and the O control. So ORM what is it? So it is one of the render manager which can be used to render out the DOM content and then we have the O control and the O control is that um, other one is the O control which is the control itself. So we are using here the rating indicator which is itself a control and submit it is itself a control itself. So in the video we will just see what um, the custom controls are and this example is being shown in the video itself. Yes, so in this video we will look into custom controls in SAP UI5. So as you know in SAP UI5 there are many controls that are available but if if your requirement is different and you want some other controls or maybe some additional functionality added into your control you could also do that by building custom controls. So SAP UI5 has the support for custom controls and in this particular video we will look into one such example and that would be a rating indicator. Let me just show you as I have already shown you. So this is the rating indicator that I am suggesting. So what I have, we have to do is, so there would be a control would, which would be a mixture of this rating indicator and this button. So this whole would be a control that we, would be a custom control. So a requirement is that a control that would allow the users to rate a product and trigger a submit button, submit. So there's, there is a submit button and there is a rating indicator. And we want our users to be able to rate a control and submit it by clicking. And the new control 
should throw an event after the user button when the user clicks on the submit so maybe we will show here a message toast when the this button is clicked and we will just show how much time what is what star is provided so suppose we have provided three stars and if we just click on submit so the message would be something like that you have clicked three stars and the fourth requirement is we only want the button to be enabled if the user changes his or her vote so it initially this button would be disabled so let's just look into it so this is my web id i will create a new project here let's name it as custom control that's done click on next this is my view here click on next and finish now I have already prepared some code here I will just show it to you so this is my custom control project here and in the web app here so whenever we create a particular control we create a particular folder here and inside that folder we create a JS file and that JS file would be a control so first we will create a folder and name it as control so that's done I'm clicking on OK now I have to create a new file and I will rate it as rating rating.js and that's also done so I have this code here with me for this JS rating.js file I will just copy it from here and paste it there so initially I have commented all the lines here and one by one I will be explaining you and I will be uncomment uncommenting these lines so firstly there is this module here we have defined all the controls dependencies we have also mentioned the aliases here and then we are extending the control class here and this is my namespace this is the control folder and this is the file that we have created rating.js so there are three portions here mainly which are metadata so this is one portion and then we have an init function here it is and finally a render function so this is the render function here that is used to render out the control into the DOM <coughs> so let's take a deep look into it so first is the metadata and here in the metadata first section is the properties since according to the requirement we have a value that is created when the user rates the product so whenever a user rates it so this is a one of the requirement so we are adding a new value property here so we are ad have added this value here and the type is float and the default value should be zero itself so we have defined this property value now the next is the aggregation since here we are having a composite control so we will handle the internal controls as aggregations itself so in our case we will just hide the aggregations that is we will be hiding our button and all so this is our aggregation and here you can see this is there is the rating one and the, there is button so for the properties we create a new object so this is a new object here and the type we are mentioning it as here sap.m.ratingindicator and we have mentioned the multiple as false and visibility as hidden so we need only one indicator that's why we have mentioned this multiple false and visibility is hidden at the starting now the button so button's type is also sap.m.button and we only need one button that's why we are mentioning it as multiple false and the visibility is always hidden so the aggregations are done now finally we have an event that we have to expose so here the event name is value submit so this is our event and this is a pa there are parameters and in the parameters we are mentioning the value which is of the type float so basically 
we will use this later in the XML to attach to our handler so we will be using this new control and there would be an event just like in the button if we are using a button control there we have an event known as press event and within the press we are mentioning our functions and all so similarly in this control we have this value cement value submit event and we will be using it in our XML file that is in the view file later on so this was I will just uncomment all these since we have already covered this <coughs> so that's done now we come into our init function so our metadata section is over now the init section here we will instantiate our aggregation aggregated controls and add them to our controls all those controls that we are used in the aggregation we will just instantiate them so this is I will just uncomment it so that it would be more clear than clearer to you I will just comment this line and whenever we, we, we would need this line I will just uncomment it so here we are setting our aggregation this is a rating one and this is the button so here we want a new aggregation that is rating this one with the rating indicator and with the button itself so that's why we have written this now in the text we are writing it as submit and in the value whatever indicator we are pressing that value will come here so maximum is 5 itself now that's over now this, there is the third one that is a renderer so render function is called on rendering and it gets this two properties here that is one is ORM that is render manager and O control so render manager it is used to render out the DOM content and this is this portion is for the render manager and here the O control we are using it is simply our control itself so here I have written this ORM write and we are writing our DOM structure let me just uncomment this so we are starting with the div here and ending our div tag here itself fine now within the div tag we have already added our control data and that is done with this particular line write control data we are have we have we are adding our O control into our div content here so basically this is needed to ensure the eventing and data binding so all the events and data binding are handled in this using this particular code here and now the next in the next step we are we have added our CSS and this is the predefined CSS class that SAP UI5 offers so what it does it basically this it puts a small margin just in the left and the right side of the control and we have written our classes here and the div tag is closed here and now here so this so this this now displays the outline of a control but still we need to render the aggregations here so that's why we are writing it as like this so both our aggregations are rendered and we are retrieving a control from the aggregation hence here we are writing o control dot get aggregation both rating and button and at the last we have closed the ORM write so that's it now what I think um, if I just save this file and now we will just use this rating.js control in our view and for that I will just open my view here here is my view and in the content folder in the content tag I will just try use my new control so here it is first I will just mention my namespace and all I will just copy it from here I will just paste it here also I will explain it to you in the content I have to write this particular code so I have just made two changes I have I am I am just using this particular control so custom there is none no 
control in SAP Wi-Fi like custom so basically what you have done we have made this our custom control so I have defined this custom here so this is my namespace and this is my folders name in which rating.js is defined so custom and rating so that's it I have used this and I am saving it now if I just run this application I would be able to see my rating indicator and the button that is my con new control custom control I will be able to see it let's just wait for a moment okay here it is and we can see by default it is disabled and if I just click on this this is not enabled so we ha we have to code for this and if it's enabled if I just click on submit there would be a message toast available so let's just code for it now what we have to do in the rating.js now if I just click on this particular now if I just click on this particular star or any of the stars a particular function should run and that function is this on rate function I will just uncomment it so this particular function would work if I just click on any of the stars and when when this particular star is clicked and if I just click on submit this particular function would work so I will just uncomment it also so how would this particular uh, function called on rate if I just click on any of the stars for that I will just write here live change whenever I will click on any of the stars this particular event would get triggered and on rate would also get triggered so that's why we have written here live change and similarly if I just press on this submit button this event should be triggered and in this event I have declared this function on submit which is this one so let's see what happens if I just click on any of the button so it would go here and in the on rate function this function is triggered when the user makes a rating on the rating indicator so here we are setting our value to the value that has been rated and we set the button to be enabled so both these functions are doing this here whenever we are clicking on any of the stars the value is stored and the submit button is enabled so this is the functionality of on rate function and if I what happens if I just submit so so submit button so this um, this should be fired when the button is pressed and then we say fire event tri is triggered and the value parameter is the value that we stored internally as a control property value so that's it I will just save this here and now what we'll do we will implement this particular control our control is ready custom control is ready and now what we have to do we have to just implement our custom control in the view so we have already done this now as I already told you here we had created this event that is value summit now I have to use this value summit here on the click of this particular button that is submit button so I will just name it as something random So here it is. I will need name it as on rating changed. So I have defined this value of value submit here. Now what I have to do? I have to define this particular event that is function in the controller. So I will just show my controller here, view one controller, and I have to define it here. I will just copy the code from here. I will just uncomment it so here a uh, message to toast is not defined so we have to load our dependencies and all I will just paste it here and uh, I have to add my alias so this is the alias here 
so I have used Mephistoist here so here what we are doing whenever we are clicking on a particular star and when we are clicking on summit this particular event would trigger and here what we are getting the value of star that is here it is 4 that would come here in the i value and that would value would pass here and your new rating would be 4 like that it would work I will just save this and our custom control is ok to you I suppose you have understood it view also you have understood I suppose and control is ok fine now I will just refresh it now you will see whenever I will just click on any other stars here the submit button would be enabled so suppose I am clicking on 4 star so submit button is enabled and if I just click on submit this particular event would work so let's see your new rating is 4 let's see this would be the toast or not so here it is your new rating value is 4 so this was it for the custom control so this was an easy example I suppose hope you have understood this tutorial on custom controls so that's it for this video thanks for listening